Hi, I'm Francesca Sapio and welcome to Practical Unity Game Development. Before to start, a little bit of background about me. I have several years of experience in game development and I've been ordering successful books that has been translated in multi-languages. I also have been a technical consultant for game companies and leader of many game-based projects for research. Furthermore, I'm an artificial intelligence expert and I have a strong passion for math, logic and games. Today, I'll guide you through the course. Let's have a look at what we will learn along the way. The course is structured in six sections. In section one, we will get in ready. In particular, we will know how to install Unity and set up the scene. So we will create a desert land scene, as the one you can see, that is ready to be used by sections two and three. In section two, instead, we are going to talk about timelines a powerful tool to create cutscenes in your games. As you can see, Timelines allows you to create some animations of the characters and bring them in a whole cutscene. In section 3 instead, we will see the use of a procedural camera tool named Cinemachine. As you can see, this procedural tool allows you to create a very cool gameplay cameras and not only, it allows you to better shot cutscenes like the one we saw in section 2. In section 4, we will move into a 2D project in which we will explore the powerful tool of tile map and we will be using custom brushes and tiles. So at the end of this section, not only you will be able to create very quick maps, but also you will be able to provide the right tools for your team to build maps even quicker. In section 5, we will see the powerful tool of shader graphs. It is a recent tool introduced into Unity that allows you to create uh, shaders in a visual language. For example, this graph is a shader, and in this very powerful tool, you will be able to create different effects like the one you are seeing right, right now. Finally, in the last section, section 6, we will have a look about post-processing and rendering. Not only we will manage to create a powerful post-processing effects and talk a bit about particle systems, but also you will be able to use a GPU sensation to generate thousands of mesh on the screen at the same time, or little performance issues. Moreover, this course do not have any particular prerequisite. However, some basic knowledge of Unity might be useful, but again, it's not required. Same goes for C Sharp. If you know something about it, it is really valuable, but it's not required. Moreover, a couple of extra information. When the recording of this video began, Unity 2018 was still in beta. By the time you're watching this video, Unity 2018 will be out. So you will be fine to follow this video course with any version after Unity 2018. Also, section one explains some very basic setups and uh, how to import characters and set up the scene for sections 2 and 3. So if you feel pretty confident of what you're doing, you can actually feel free to speed up the video or even skip the various videos of the section and head straight to the practical part of the course uh, starting from section 2. Now with this said, without losing any more time, let's get started. 